Hi, my name is Rob uh, from the Chi Master video series on food. So this recipe will be for an organic chicken bone broth soup. So the ingredients I use is a uh, organic bone broth soup with nine grams of protein. Uh, and the whole purpose of this is not only to build your immune system, to get your vitamins and minerals and nutrients from the vegetables, but to also build bone density with the hyaluronic acid in the bone broth. And so what I'll do is I'll go over the ingredients that I use in the soup, and then in the next part of the video, I'll review the health benefits of each of the ingredients that I use. So I'll use bone broth soup, and then I'll use a chicken and wild rice soup. This is an organic version. Uh, depending on your budget, you can use an organic and wild rice, uh, gluten-free, uh, non-organic version also. And then what I've done is I've cut up an organic onion and along with some shiitake mushrooms and some garlic. And I've put those in with a, a mixture of a little bit of uh, olive oil and I've put in some soy sauce, a little bit for flavor. So after i am uh, kind of browned this for a little while, mainly for the mushrooms, uh, I'll put that in with the soup. Then in with the soup, what I've done is I've cut up some organic carrots to add some taste and flavor and benefits to the soup. In addition, I have used some organic celery and some uh, broccoli also. So I've put that in with the soup with the uh, So I've kind of mixed that all together, and then after this is cooked long enough, I'll add this part. And you've got a great uh, healthy either lunch or dinner. So you kind of mix that all together, and Depending on how many people you're feeding, you can make more or if you have a little bit left over for another day to heat up. And then if you uh, want some other things to go with it, you could add in some uh, gluten-free uh, different uh, crackers. Uh, these are some sweet potatoes and I'll use a little bit of uh, sun butter uh, made from sunflower seeds for protein. Now in the next part of the video, I'll review the health benefits of each of the ingredients I mentioned. Okay, so now to the nutritional benefits. So some of the chicken bone broth soup ingredients that I've used are the chicken bone broth. And the information I've gotten uh, is from the healthline.com website. And I'll give some brief explanations. And if you'd like to get further explanations, uh, you can go to their website and look up this information. So the chicken bo bro bone broth, it contains vitamins and minerals. So uh, bone broth is rich in minerals that help build and strengthen your bones. It also contains many other healthy nutrients, including vitamins, amino acids, and essential fatty acids. The next benefit it may benefit the digestive system. So there's the gelatin in bone broth. It helps support healthy digestion, and it may be beneficial for individuals with leaky gut as well as irritable and inflammatory bowel diseases. Number three, the amino acids in bone broth can help fight inflammation. Because of this, eating it may help protect against disease. A fourth benefit is its nutrients may improve joint health. Collagen is the main protein uh, found in bones, tendons, and ligaments. While cooking bone broth, collagen from bones and connective tissue breaks down into another protein called gelatin. Gelatin contains important amino acids that support joint health. These include proline glycine, which your body uses to build its own connective tissue. Connective tissue is the main component of the tendons, which connect muscles to bones and ligaments, which promote bones to each other. However, the amounts of these amino acids are much lower in bone broth than the therapeutic dose found in supplements. And under my supplement, uh, vitamins, minerals, and supplement video, I will uh, review some of the uh, supplements I take. But the uh, collagen is a very beneficial source in the bone broth soup. Weight 
uh, a fifth benefit is weight management and muscle mass. So bone broth is typically low in calories, uh, but it can still satisfy your hunger. There is some evidence that people who consume soups are less likely to develop obesity. This suggests that soups may play a role in managing weight. Bone broth is high in protein, and some evidence suggests a high protein diet can help manage weight as it is satisfying and can help a person feel full. Now, the next ingredient I use is onions. So onions are highly nutritious vegetables that may have several benefits, including improved heart health, better blood sugar regulation, and increased bone density also, like the bone broth. Onions are a member of the Allium genus of flowering plants, which also includes garlic, shallots, and leeks. They're delicious, versatile, and relatively cheap, and they boost a wide variety of healthy vitamins, minerals, and plant compounds. The medicinal properties of onions have been recognized for thousands of years. Athletes in ancient Greece supposedly used onions to purify their blood, while medieval and traditional doctors prescribed them to help treat headaches, heart disease, and mouth sores. These, so onions are packed with nutrients. They may benefit your heart health. They're loaded with antioxidants. They contain anti-cancer compounds. They help regulate blood sugar. So eating onions may help regulate your blood sugar levels, which is significant for people with diabetes or prediabetes. They also may bo boost bone density. They also have antibacterial properties and they may boost digestive health. So onions are a rich source of fiber and prebiotics, which are necessary for optimum gut health. Prebiotics are non-digestive types of fiber that are broken down by the beneficial gut bacteria. So if you have prebiotics, uh, non-digestible types of fiber, uh, these are the types of foods that are really going to help uh, benefit your microbiome. Garlic. So garlic provides anti-inflammatory benefits. It may protect against cellular damage. It may benefit cognitive health. So regularly consuming garlic and ginger or taking garlic supplements may help protect your brain and improve cognition. It also may reduce heart disease risk factors. It may be beneficial for those with diabetes, so garlic can help reduce blood sugar levels and improve other markers of health in people with diabetes. It also has potential anti-cancer properties like onions. And also it may promote a healthy immune response. So garlic has potent anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antiviral, antimicrobial properties. Thus, adding them to your diet may help keep your immune system strong and healthy, especially during cold and flu season. So celery. The celery is a great source of important antioxidants. Uh, antioxidants protect cells, blood vessels, and organs from oxidative damage. Celery contains vitamin C, beta carotene, and flavonoids, but there are at least 12 additional kinds of antioxidant nutrients found in a single stalk of celery. It's also a wonderful source of phytonutrients, which have been shown to reduce instances of inflammation in the digestive tract, cells, blood vessels, and organs. Number two, celery also reduces inflammation. Chronic inflammation has been linked to many illnesses, including arthritis, osteoporosis, Celery and celery seeds have approximately 25 anti-inflammatory compounds that can offer protection against inflammation in the body. Number three, celery supports digestion. While its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory nutrients offer protection to the entire digestive tract, celery may offer special benefits to the stomach also. And then there's a high water content of celery, almost 95% plus a generous amounts of soluble and insoluble fiber. All those support a healthy digestive tract and keep you regular. One cup of celery sticks has five grams of dietary fiber. Celery is rich in vitamins, minerals with a low glycemic index. It also has an alkalinizing effect. While minerals like magnesium, iron, sodium in the celery can have a 
neutralizing effect on acidic foods, not to mention the fact that these minerals are necessary for essential bodily functions. Then there's carrots. Carrots are a particularly good source of beta carotene, fiber, vitamin K1, potassium, and antioxidants. Plus, they're low in calories. They also have several health benefits. They have been linked to lower cholesterol levels and improved eye health. What's more, the, car the carotene antioxidants have been linked to a reduced risk of cancer. Carrots are a good source of several vitamins and minerals, especially biotin, potassium, and vitamins A from the beta carotene and K1 and B6. Carrots offer many plant compounds, including carotenoids. These are substances with powerful antioxidant activity that have been linked to improve immune system function and reduce risk of many illnesses, including heart disease, various degenerative ailments, and certain types of cancer. And then there's broccoli. Broccoli is high in many nutrients, including fiber, vitamin C, vitamin K, iron, and potassium. This green veggie can be enjoyed both raw and cooked, but recent research shows that gentle steaming provides the most health benefits. And that's kind of what you're getting when you put the broccoli in your uh, chicken bone broth soup. Broccoli is high in many vitamins and minerals, including folate, potassium, manganese, and vitamin C and K1. Broccoli is rich in various antioxidants and plant compounds, which contribute to its health benefits. Broccoli is loaded with compounds that are believed to protect against cancer also. So again, these are all great ingredients to use in your chicken bone broth soup. Thank you, and I hope you have a great day today.